وخاتم الأنبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين uh, This is chapter 5, section 5.1 Chapter 5 is about discrete probability distributions And chapter 6 would be about continuous probability distributions And let us start chapter 5 by an introduction to the discrete probability distributions in section 5.1 and before talking about probability distributions we need to talk about random variables so what are random variables uh, we discussed random experiments in chapter 4 and we have seen that random exper experiments have outcomes okay if we associate a number to the outcomes, with the outcomes, uh, then all possible values of these numbers would be called a random variable. So what is a random variable? It is uh, numbers associated to the outcomes and based on chance because it's a random experiment. Let us take some examples. An inspector who examines three HD televisions can judge each television as acceptable or unacceptable. So what is the experiment? An inspector will examine three televisions and he will say how many of them are acceptable or unacceptable. Okay. Now, if we define the number of acceptable televisions to be X, so what is the random variable in this case? The number of acceptable television out of what? Of the three televisions. So if I ask you what are the possible values of X, number of acceptable televisions out of three, it would be zero, one, two, or three. You don't have 1.5, 1.2. Okay, you only have four values. So this is a discrete random variable. And this is a random variable. And these numbers are based on the chance because every time you bring three televisions and ask the inspector to uh, find the number of acceptable televisions in them, it would be different. You don't know what would be his answer. It could be zero, one, two, or three. But his answer would be one of these four only. He cannot say four because he has only three televisions and he cannot say 1.1, either the, the television is acceptable or unacceptable. Another example of discrete random variables, uh, bank audit, uh, auditor randomly examines 15 accounts to verify the accuracy of the balances. So this auditor will examine the 15 accounts and he will mention the number of inaccurate account balances. So what would be his answer? So what is the random variable? The number of inaccurate account balances. What would be his answer? 15 accounts. So the number of inaccurate accounts from 15 accounts would be 0, 1, 2, up to 15. So this is the random variable and it's discrete here because you are counting. Okay, if you are not counting, then the, the random variable is not discrete and it is continuous. Okay, uh, we will have some examples about continuous random variables in a minute. Let us take another uh, example about discrete random variables. Ten employees were recently hired by a major electronics company. The number of females, you notice always discrete uh, comes with number of, number of. Number of means discrete immediately. Number of females in that group, the group of 10. So 10 employees, how many females uh, are in them? The answer could be zero up to 10. Zero female, one female, two females, and so on, out of 10. Every time we have 10 employees, we don't know how many females are there uh, among them. And the number of females would be the random variable. This random variable is again discrete because we have uh, zero to 10 counting numbers. Let us take some examples about continuous random variables. For example, the time. The exact time, the exact time 
it takes a city bus to complete its route. Okay. It could be any time between 30 minutes and 35 minutes. If we know that it takes usually between 30 and 35 minutes. So it could take any time between 30 and 35 minutes. It could be 30.0001 of the minute. It could be 32.0004567 of the minutes. Okay. The exact. But this is continuous. You cannot even write the possible values of X. You cannot say the possible value is 30, 31. No, it could be any number between 30 and 31. So this is a continuous random variable. Another example. Uh, so this is an example time. Another example. Uh, uh, distance, measure of distance. Okay, exact distance. Okay, or weight. Okay, so distance, weight. When you measure these precisely, exactly, you need the weight exactly, not 70 kilograms, 70.501 kilogram. All of these are continuous random variables and you cannot write, you cannot count the values of X in this case. We will study continuous random variables in chapter six, inshallah. So let us solve this uh, exact uh, question. An economics quiz contains six multiple choice questions. Let X, he has to define the random variable in the question for you. So what is X? It represents the number of questions a student answers correctly. Among how many questions? Among the six. So how many questions did the student answers, answer correctly from the six, okay? Is X a continuous or discrete number of? It would be a discrete random variable. So the answer here is discrete. What are the possible values of X? What are the possible values of X? From zero to six. He could answer zero question or one or two up to six correctly. We don't know every time you give him six uh, choices this student could answer five, this student could answer four, this could answer zero. And these are all the possible values of X and it's clear that this is a discrete random variable. Okay, what do we need from the discrete random variables? What would, would, would we ask about them? We will ask three questions about discrete random variables. First, we need to display the discrete probability distributions graphically. So we may ask graph, but here, this is a probability distribution. So what is the meaning of probability distribution? X is the random variable. It's the discrete random variable. And here in this experiments, number of defectives, okay? So three parts are tested three parts are tested to determine whether they are defective. So the number of defectives, okay, would be X, the random variable. What are the possible values of X? We have three parts. So zero of them, one, two, three of them would be or could be defectives. So these are the values of X. So when you put the values of X and the probability of each value, so you have a column for X and column for the probability of each value. This is called a probability distribution. It's similar to, if you remember, frequency distribution. But in the frequency distribution, you have the values of X, okay, or the classes, and the frequency of each value, frequency rather than the probability. Probability uh, like relative frequency. So we have a probability distribution like this. It would be discrete if X is discrete, if we have zero, one, two, three. For a continuous random variable, we cannot write something like this because we don't know the values of X. The values of X are not countable for a continuous random variable. Okay, so this uh, probability distribution will be given to you uh, most probably in the question. And then he will ask some questions about it. Uh, the first question could be graph, okay? Graph the probability distribution or sketch a graph for this probability distribution. Okay, how to sketch a graph for this probability distribution? 
uh, it is easy. Here you put X and here you put the probability of each value. What are the possible values of X? Zero, one, two, three. You put zero here, not here, because this is not an XY coordinate system. Zero is one of the values. It has to be here and one, two, three. These are all the possible values of X because we need to draw uh, a bar above zero. So it's not good to draw the bar here. Okay, so put zero here. And now the probabilities are we have 0.1, 0.2, 0.3, and 0.4 is the maximum probability. So what is the probability of zero? It is 0.1. So you draw a bar, just a bar above the zero. Okay, so this is this bar. And above one, the probability of 0.3. So there is a bar above uh, one. This is an, so it's not a histogram. It's like a bar chart. And 2.4, the probability of two is 0.4. This is when he says to you, sketch a graph for the probability distribution. And 0.3, it is two. So this is the probability distribution. And this is the first question we can ask you about. You can see that it's a discrete random variable, discrete probability distribution, because the values of x are countable. So there is no 2.1 or 2.2. Uh, or any number between two and three. Okay, what else can we ask about the probability distribution or the discrete probability distribution? We can ask about the mean and the standard deviation of this distribution. So the mean is also called expected value. So this is another name for the mean. So what is the expected value? It is the mean of the probability distribution. And what is the mean? It is the average value when the experiment that generates values for the random variable is repeated over the long run. So if you repeat the experiment again and again and again, what is the average value would, will be called the expected value because it is the value that we expect when you do the experiment many times. So what is the mean or what is the expected value? How to evaluate the expected value of a discrete probability distribution? That's the formula. EX is expected value, okay? And it is also the mean or mu. Uh, we deal here with populations because these are all the possible values of X. X cannot be four or any other value. So it's a population. So mu is also E of X. Why is this formula? Why it is summation X, P of X? Because this is how we evaluate the weighted mean, if you remember. This, this is a weighted mean here. Zero have probability 0.1. One has more weight than zero. The probability is 0.3. So we have to take these weights into account. So if you remember the weighted mean, we multiply W times XI. So XI times W. These are Ws here. So zero times 0.1 plus one times 0.3. That's summation X, P of X. But then you divide by the sum of the weights. But the sum of the weights here is one because the weights are probabilities. So that's why you don't see over one. So the mean is just summation X times P of X. So if you want to find the mean in this example, you just find summation X times P of X. So you multiply zero times 0 0.1 plus one times 1.3, uh, sorry, 0.3, plus two times 0.4, plus three times 0.2. If you calculate, you will find it 1.7. So the average is 1.7. The expected value of this random variable is 1.7. 1.7 is in the middle, the mean, okay? It is not one of these values, but that's usual. The mean need not be one of the values of X. So this is the mean or the uh, expected value of the random variable or of the probability distribution. Okay, how to find the standard deviation? Well, the standard deviation is denoted by sigma, sigma x. And uh, if you remember the definition of the variance, 
uh, in chapter 3, it is summation x minus mu square over capital N for the, the population. So we need summation x minus mu square. Mu is square e, e of x. E of x is a mu. So we have x minus mu square, but we have weighted here. So we multiply by the weights or probability of x. So this is the standard deviation. Of course, the variance uh, without the square root, the variance would be the square of uh, the standard deviation. So the variance is without square root. So let us find the variance for this example, for this probability distribution. What would be uh, the variance? Summation x minus mu squared times probability of x. So what is x? x could be 0, mu 1.7 squared times the probability of zero, which is 0 0.1 plus one minus 1.7 squared times probability of one, which is 0 0.3 plus two minus 1.7 squared, okay, x minus mu squared times probability of two, which is 0 0.4 plus three minus 1.7, squared, 1.7 is the mean, times the probability of three, which is 0.2, and you calculate and you find uh, this probability. You can use, uh, uh, sorry, the answer, you can find the variance, this is the variance. And if you find the square root of the variance, you get the standard deviation. I can give you uh, a method to use the calculator. How can you use the calculator to find the mean and the standard deviation for the weighted mean usually, and for the discrete probability distributions also, you go to the mode, okay, stat, you choose stat, and you choose one, which is variance, and you make sure that you have the frequency there. So one column for X and one for the frequency. If you don't have the frequency, you go to shift mode, stat, and you say frequency, yes. Yes for the frequency. So if you have the frequency, you put X zero, and you put 0.1 in the place of the frequency. So you put the probabilities uh, in the column of the frequency, and then you press uh, uh, AC, and you go to uh, uh, shift one, and you ask for the mean and the standard deviation. Uh, I stop uh, here, and inshallah next time, we will give more examples about uh, discrete 